A former professional skateboarder and now convicted killer may be on his way to being a free man after spending more than 30 years in prison. But tonight, CBS 8 Steve Fiorina tells us the victim's family and friends are hoping a parole recommendation is once again rejected by the governor. Parole granted for former professional skateboarder Mark Gator Rogowski, but it was nixed once before and could happen again. This was Mark Rogowski at his murder trial in 1991. He was convicted of the rape and murder of Jessica Bergston, who was just 22 years old. I wonder what I'll do. Rogowski was famous in the skateboarding world, a skilled professional who went by the names Mark Anthony and Gator. The prosecutor said Rogowski abducted Bergston from her apartment in Pacific Beach and hauled her off to his condo in Carlsbad. And then handcuffs her, handcuffs her uh, feet, uh, sexually assaults her for approximately three hours. She was bludgeoned with a metal steering wheel lock. Placed her inside of a surfboard bag, and while inside the surfboard bag, uh, then strangled her. Bergston's body was found weeks later in a shallow grave in the Imperial County Desert. Rogowski later confessed, was convicted, and sentenced to 31 years to life in prison. The State Board of Parole hearings denied him freedom in 2011 and 2016, then granted parole in 2019, but Governor Gavin Newsom refused to sign off on it. Now, Rogowski is again granted parole, but he could still remain in custody. So the governor can either say yes, he's parolable, or the governor can say no. If the governor says yes, there are other rules in place, what are called sexually violent predator, so that he can be determined to be a sexually violent predator and can be housed in a, as a civil commitment. The governor has 30 days from Tuesday's parole board decision, and the victim's relatives are likely to weigh in. They're reported to be devastated to hear that Rogowski could be released. The family members definitely have a voice. I wonder what I'll do. The San Diego district attorney opposes his release too. Now we wait for the governor. Steve Fiorina, CBS 8. Thanks, Steve, and we will, of course, keep you updated on the outcome of that.